this one snippet for me says it all in terms of the paradigm moving from one direction to another. Check this out. And the position of anti has no power within it. You know, it, it can only strengthen the thing you're, you're anti. <laughs> and so in being anti-death, we have strengthened our fear and the, the, the death hold that, that we are now in with this society that, that is expressing itself the way it is. So by buying, buying into anti-death, we have to kill everything. We're killing cancer, we're killing it, all the bacteria, we're trying to kill viruses. And so there's this weird phenomenon that happens when you're anti, is you actually go start doing the very thing that you're actually thought you were opposed to. There's a farmer who for tens of thousands of years, was, goal was to grow things, whose sole purpose is now to kill things. And so we have so gotten ourselves stuck in this phenomenon of anti-death <laughs> that we are just killing everything and we're killing ourselves for it. As, as, as the snippet shows, it plays out in our culture, our anti-this, anti-that, our war on different things. If you look at the soil or with our bodies, we try to isolate different things and have vitamins that do this or that when realizing there are so many more dynamics within a particular thing like vitamin C. You can take vitamin C, but when nature gives you vitamin C, you're getting so many more different elements that are part of that experience of vitamin C that you're getting nature's gift of vitamin C versus a whittled down version of what we think is working with vitamin C. There's so much more there. And that's true for being human as well. We have so much within us. and our ability to just engage and look at the world in terms of energy and vibration. And if you look at the Freedom Convoy again, it's looking at it in terms of Aikido and the government is looking at it in terms of traditional battle. And that energy of Aikido takes and will pull energy that comes towards them and pull it so that the opposition is suddenly off kilter and no longer in full balance. And that pulling of energy allows them to swing things around and use the energy that they bring forth. The battle energy and all that is actually turned against the government, against the opposing force. It's a, it's a flow of energy in a completely different direction that allows us to see the freedom that we want. And I, I think it's just amazing what a time, what a time to be alive. And um, I just want to put out there that if you're in a state of fear, if you step back and look at the energy that's coming at you from all these different directions and think about ways to guide that energy and pull it towards you and, and, and pull it in a different direction so that you're not going against things. You're pulling it towards you and rerouting or re uh, igniting that energy in a different way. And, and it takes practice and it's ongoing, just like a meditation and so on. But I think that whole idea, the Aikido energy, and you have to look into it more, obviously, uh, there's a lot more to it. But the guiding principle of that is amazing. And I just think at this time, if we can do that with our own energy and and really not let it not not go in battle against things against all these influences but rather taking and reigniting that energy and using it in a whole new way so that that energy that's coming at you can actually be invigorating and aliving and give you purpose and more energy to go a completely different direction that you actually want to go. And you're not being hijacked from these other people and all these manipulations from corporations and government and what have you. If you look at different people and what they have to say about, you know, being a, a sovereign being on a planet, that's what we are. We're sovereign beings on a planet. I don't know. I just love that idea that we can be sovereign beings on the planet again, where we don't, where we engage with one another directly. There is no like middleman. You watch the YouTube episode I took a clip from. If you do that, you look at the birth of a new humanity. And, I've, and it's beautiful, the description of the birth 
and it's along the lines of the hero's journey. Some of the same ideas are in there with a birth or with the hero's journey. Um, I don't know about the going back to the normal because you're not going to go back in the womb, you know. Uh, but there's still so many different parts of it that are just beautiful and aligned with that same idea of, um, of really just co-creating. You know, a birth is a co-creation. It's not just you coming out of the womb. It's this birth with your mother. And I love the idea. If you listen to that YouTube episode, the, the idea that humanity is birthing itself and working with the mother earth, with the energy of the mother of the earth itself. And it goes so much against this whole idea that we're going to do it. We're going to do it, you know, and being able to take that feminine energy of the earth and align with it and birth a new humanity, man, that's powerful. That is, that is cool. So I wanted to put this out there that if you're feeling this like constriction and containment and like fear and all that, it's part of the process. It's part of the process of like the crucible, the, 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 you know, the Japanese swords that are made through breaking things down and building it back up and breaking it down and reshaping it. This is a whole reshaping of our whole mindset of things. I think it's just beautiful to think that we can take that and it's going and being, being there during that process, being alive during that process so that we can come out the other side. So we can, we can be alive through the whole process. It's not just being alive for that ending part. It's being alive for the whole thing. And then when you get to that ending part, that wisdom that is carried with you from what you experienced before is so valuable going forward. You need that crucible. That wisdom in that crucible moment is what you need to bring you forth and be fully alive in a whole new world. And so many times I think in business and all these different places, you see people trying to shortcut all these different things, you know, get the shortcut, get the, uh, get there faster. I, I can teach you how to get there faster. I can, I can get you around things. That's not what you want to do. You want people to give you some spark and inspiration, but you don't want them to shortchange you of the crucible of that, of that working of your soul of your being that working crucible you need that work you need that like engagement to give you the wisdom to, that will get you so many more levels up there and if you hamstring yourself by having other people just give it to you uh you don't have that wisdom you don't get that wisdom that's a short change that's like a vitamin you need the full experience. And when you get that full experience, then you have enough, you have that wisdom and that confidence to just move forward. You have that core, you know, that core by going through the crucible, you have that core that will allow you to keep going. I love that idea. This is, it's a powerful video to watch. Um, and, so check it out. The link is in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.